I'm here today with a video on Kylie Jenner lip ideas. Now I know that this has been a huge craze lately is the new Kylie Jenner lip color, which it's not really new. I'm pretty sure that this like brownie mauve was super big in like the 90s. Uh, I don't think I ever wore it, but I remember it like being like kind of a mom color. So there's kind of a wide range here. They're not all exactly the same color. Some have a little bit more mauve. Some maybe are a little bit more pink, but I think that it gives you a pretty good idea if you are looking for that Kylie Jenner 90s brownie mauve color. I think that there might be something here for you. So let's start with drugstore. So the first drugstore one is this lipstick here. This is a newer one for me. This is the L'Oreal Collection Privé. This is the Eva one, Eva's Nude, number 610. And minus the fact that these smell awful, this is a really, really great color. This one's a little bit more of a softer kind of mauve nude color. So if this deeper brownie mauve nude is a little bit too bold for you, maybe try something like Eva's Nude because it is a lighter nude, a lighter mauve. You can always deepen it up with a little bit of lip liner. I have two lip liners that I'll show you. And so yeah, the first one is Eva's Nude and this is from L'Oreal. Okay, the next color is another newer color to me. This is from the Maybelline Matte Collection. It's the only one I was able to pick up that I actually kind of liked. And this is in Touch of Spice number 660. It's what I have on today with a lip liner that I'll show you towards the end. Now this is a darker matte mauve brown nude. I love it. I can't stop wearing it. Um, you'll see it next to the L'Oreal one that is a little bit deeper. So if you want something a little bit more bold, I think this is a great one. I absolutely love the formula. It's very creamy. It doesn't dry out my lips. It goes on nicely. It lasts all day has a typical Maybelline smell, but I absolutely love it. So this is Touch of Spice. Okay, the next is going to be a Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, and this is in the shade Sultry, number 225. I love these matte balms. They are some of my favorite lip products from the drugstore. I have, I got them when they had the original, I don't know what they're called, Kissable Balm Stains. Love those, love these matte ones, super creamy. They don't dry out my lips. This one is a little bit more rosy toned, so if Touch of Spice is maybe too brown, try Sultry because that one is a little bit more of a rosy toned mauve. Love this, lasts all day on the lips. Like I said, doesn't dry it out. So that one again is Sultry. The next drugstore one is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in the color Cannes or Cannes, C-A-N-N-E-S. I've been sick the last few days, so um, I can't focus or read or do anything. Um, this is another matte formula, super creamy, goes on the lips very nicely, same kind of family tone. This one seems to be a little bit, um, it's pretty close to the touch of spice if you can't find it. It is a doFA applicator, kind of like a gloss formula. This one is a little bit more drying, but it is still really creamy. It's NYX, it's drugstore, um, so that's another good option too. So that one is Cannes or Cans or... C-A-N-N-E-S. The last one from the drugstore is another NYX one. This is the Butter Gloss in Pops, or the Butter Lipstick in Pops. Great mauve nude. This one's a little bit lighter. So if, again, the other ones are a little bit too dark, this is a great one to start out with. It's a nice, lighter, mauve toned. These are super buttery, very comfortable on the lips, very creamy, very pigmented. Absolutely love these. So again, this one is Pops from NYX Butter Lipstick. MAC one is going to be a luster, and this is Viva Glam 6, I believe. VI, you guys always tell me and I always forget. I think it's Viva Glam 6. This one is a little bit more plummy, has a little bit more mauve tones in it. It's a luster, so it's super glossy. This one's very easy to wear, uh, very easy color to wear. I think it's going to be a great one if you're just wanting to start out and try out this you know, dark, nudie color. Love this one, it's so comfortable. Again, it's a little bit more pinky mauve than the Touch of Spice, which is what I'm wearing, but it's still a great alternative, so Viva Glam 6. So next is a NARS Velvet Matte Pencil in Sex Machine. This one is a lighter, little bit more dusty pink, but I think you could still get close to the same effect. Again, another one of those colors that I think is a good starting out one if this is too dark for you. Uh, it is a little bit more on the pink side, so it's not quite as rosy mauve as the other ones, but I still, still thought it was a good alternative um, if you're just kind of branching out and seeing how you like that. 
Um, again, that's NARS Lip Pencil in Sex Machine. Okay, the next one is a Buxom lipstick. This was from one of their little sets. I don't know if this is a permanent color, but this is called Centerfold. And look how cute this little lipstick is. This one is beautiful. It reminds me um, a lot of the Touch of Spice, just a little bit more of a glossier formula. It's got a little bit more mauve purple to it rather than like the mauve rose, but I think it's very wearable. It still kind of gives you that same look. This one is glossy, so I would just blot off if you want the matte lip, blot off the gloss with a piece of tissue, but I really like this. So if you can get the centerfold color in the permanent collection, I love the formula of these. I love Buxom lip products, so I would highly recommend that one. So again, centerfold from Buxom. And then the last lipstick is from Kat Von D. This is their new lipsticks. I love the packaging, it's all studded. And this one is in Lovecraft. This color is amazing. It is matte, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. This one is probably one of the closest to the Kylie Jenner lip color. And it's definitely probably one of my favorites. Touch of Spice or this one. It's matte, it's creamy, I love it so much. It's such a beautiful color, I kinda wanna put it on now. Love, love, love this one. And this one again is called Lovecraft from Kat Von D. I have one gloss. This is a Urban King Naked Lip Gloss in Beso, B-E-S-O. This is a great one if you are wanting a glossy look to your Kylie Jenner lip, even though I'm pretty sure hers is matte but it's a beautiful kind of mauve color. It goes great if you do want to add a little bit of gloss or if you're just wanting to branch into it um, with a gloss rather than a lipstick, a little bit more sheer version. Again, that is Urban Decay Besso. This is a super comfortable, creamy, not sticky formula. I really like these Urban Decay uh, lip glosses and the packaging is so, so pretty. Okay, I have two lip liners. The first is Burr, B-E-U-R-R-E. -E. I swear I'm not on my game today. This is from MAC. It is a really nice, perfect lip liner for the Kylie Jenner look. It's what I have on today. It's dark, kind of a brownie, mauve color. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna swatch the other one next to it too. Uh, Liar from Urban Decay. Ooh, I think I just hit puberty. Liar from Urban Decay is another great one. Also Paranoid from Urban Decay, but I think that one is discontinued. So. Um, you have Burr right here, which is a little bit more brown, and this one's a little bit more mauve So you can either do Burr or Liar from Urban Decay, either of those work. So I hope you guys got some great ideas on how to recreate the Kylie Jenner lip look or the 90s lip look or whatever you want to call it. Um, I've been really enjoying it. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. I usually like either a soft nude or like a brighter cranberry lip or a berry lip, but I think this is perfect for fall. I think it pairs well with so many different eye looks, so many different um, you know combinations you can do. So I really, really love it. And let me know what some of your favorite Kylie Jenner 90s lip products that you've been loving. Do you love this trend? Do you not love it? Um, let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you later.